I love how it started just yeah. <laughs> That's proper oil. That is really good water. That's like spring water. You just set it out on the ground at this point. It might kill it. Excuse me. Oh god. Oh, oh, it's starting to change. Hey, I don't Ew, it's not changing, Tristan. It's just goo coming out of it. Alright guys, welcome back to Yosko. And in today's video, as you can already tell by the title, we are pulling Lavaca apart. So, we got some plans to make what was the old setup for her into a streetcar in that EG that's out there, which I'll go out there and flip the camera around and show you. But first, we're going to get her all apart. This is a 13 to 1 B20 with a P8R head, uh, big valves, ported, stage 5 cams, uh, LS cable trans, pretty much, if you watch the old videos, budget, like as budget as you can make of everything. So... We're going to get this apart. We're going to get a stock LS bottom end on it. We're going to switch over to an EG chassis. We're going to do a lot of things and hopefully build a medi medium fast EG streetcar uh, with parts from this and parts from the parts EG, which is how I built Ugly Duckling to start with. So I'll flip the camera around. I'll go outside. I'll show you the other car. If you guys haven't seen Lavaca before, it's a 93 Integra. RS that we built for a budget series that kind of never happened, but uh, hopefully you're ready for this series and build and uh, stay tuned. All right, guys. So doesn't look like much. It's a single cam EG. This is a EJ1, so it is a sunroof power window car. Uh, this is actually the car I bought for the whole interior to make Ugly Duckling, which up there is my B16 Turbo, which is now not turbo. Uh, street car that I built to drive. Uh, you see Snow Bunny up there, my Integra the Fiat, the Spirit, the other Integra, and then all of our other cars. But, so the plan is basically all the brakes, everything off the DA on the EG, because this doesn't have disc or anything like that, make the, from the front of the car, or from the B pillar forward, a full interior EG, leave the back gutted, put a LS bottom end in it, put a LS trans in it, put a good clutch in it, put a the turbo kit that actually came off of my B16, uh, on this and s try to make it a reliable 1150 streetcar uh, but the goal is to never put a cage in it like I want to actually be able to drive it and have fun so 1160s 1150o streetcar uh, but basically taking all of Lavaca's parts because I have both of these cars and I don't really need two extra Hondas laying around as you can tell I still have my K-Series Accord my K-Series Integra um <laughs> the juke another prelude the h series ek up there the b16 and then my b17 integra up there so i don't really need any more hondas but if i can take two cars and make one it'll just be much better for me in general and this can be fully streetable it still has all of its windows it's not a full lexan race car that's kind of pointless to me so we're going to be basically taking a da integra and an EG and making one car out of them with all of the good parts. So I'll carry along with the build series and explain stuff as I go. But hopefully you guys are following along and you're going to enjoy this one because we're going to take everything and make it street car. So I originally purchased this car, like I said, for the interior. As you see, it is completely gutted. All of the interior is in Ugly Duckling up there, the EG. And the reason why I got this car obviously for cheap is because it has a z6 in it that was turboed and then chucked a rod this car has a comp completely clean wiring harness the underneath of the car looks pretty solid all the brake lines look pretty solid so this is a very good candidate for a build i know the bumpers the fenders the paint the bodywork doesn't look the best they tried to delete all the moldings and everything which is fine i'll bodywork it up later probably paint it the purple or the green it's supposed to be so it looks like a nice car, but if you look underneath, it's not rusty, it's not beat up. Uh, the exterior body panels can all be replaced. And then the DA, it's the same way, it's not a rusty car or anything. It's just Lexan, Lexan, completely gutted, cut up. This car obviously only weighs like 1,700 pounds. And then this is my built B-Series. I don't know if you've watched the channel before or not, but DA Integra has front disc, rear disc, this car has a traction bar, header, 
bushings, 118 full fuel cell, literally everything you can do to it. And it was on nitrous at one point. And obviously we're not going to be on nitrous anymore because here is the turbo kit that is going on it. Um, with a resonator so it will be a decently quiet street car when we're done and i'll actually probably end up building a side exit or a dump under the car so that it drives like a normal car and you won't even know of course we got slips which i put on every build and then my custom max speeding rods i made a video on these a while back they're basically max speeding rod cores with swift bc springs uh this car has camber kits all stainless steel brake lines everything which we'll be transferring over to the eg all right guys so it's been a few hours now we got the b20 out of the da here we got the eg here completely single cam taken apart the single cam with the hole in the block uh, i'll throw some pictures in here uh the oil pan was full of water uh the motor had a huge hole in the block there was no cylinder head on it so i got the whole thing pulled out the transmission and the mounts are over there the axles and the shift linkage and then this is the motor at the da with the cable transmission I just pulled the cylinder head off and it looks like we had a three cylinder. So cylinder number two right here, I'll flip the camera around and show you in a second, has absolutely no combustion on the cylinder. Uh, so either the injector was stuck or the cylinder head or something wasn't sealed all the way. But as you know, if you go look at an old videos of the DA, uh, this thing made passes on the dyno and everything and ran on all four cylinders. So I'm going to assume it was something with the injectors or something getting stuck from setting for so long. But I'll flip the camera around here and show you more in depth. So the first thing, uh, so the first thing I'm going to show you are these camshafts. These are AEM True Time cam gears, and these are a set of 405 camshafts. If you look up the Crower, most people use the 404s or the 403s or the 402s. These are a custom set of 405s that I waited a couple months for. Uh, there's ARP nut or washers, ARP bolts. There's my uh, rockers. There's all the stuff off the cylinder head. Here's the cylinder head with the double valve springs and everything. This cylinder head is a P8R. It is ported. It should make all of the power and have a power band up to 9,000 RPMs. Um, the cylinder head looks super clean and the cylinder block looks super clean. The reason why I pulled this block out of the DA is because it blows out the oil filter. I don't know if something in the oil pump broke, but as soon as you start the car, there's so much oil pressure that it blows the oil filter completely apart and puts oil everywhere. Another thing I just noticed is this cylinder right here, you can see how much lighter it is than these, that one right there, and that one right there. This cylinder was never firing, so it was running on three cylinders the whole time. I never made a pass or anything with this motor build, so I couldn't tell you exactly how long it's been like that. Just know that it's not right. So we're going to get this motor uh, the rest of the way taken apart, transmission off of it, and we're going to store this for a later build. And we're going to use this cylinder head on my LS block that's over there that I'll be pulling out in a minute. All right, guys, so this will conclude the video for today. We got a lot of work done. The EG's up there, no engine, all taken apart. Right down there is the stock bottom end with the uh, P8R head. It has ARP head studs in it now. It has a set of Crower 405s. It has AM True uh, cam gears. It has a uh, competition... Um, stage four clutch sprung and an LS transmission. So uh, if you haven't really caught along yet, we're basically taking my spare parts car for Ugly Duckling and Lavaca, and we're making a true street car with a turbocharged non VTEC. And uh, my goal for this build will be to at least get it into the 11s, um, see how far we can push it with the stock bottom end. So it'll literally have a good Ramhorn manifold GT37, Crower 405s, head studs, a good clutch, which is the downfall of Ugly Duckling right now. Uh, I did take Ugly Duckling to the track on my snow tires right before the end of last season. And the B16 on six pounds went 
uh, 13 one at 116 or 117. Um, so for six pounds of boost, it was pretty fast on a 185 snow tire. Uh, and then I also raced snow bunny, which is the H23 civic at the track on a set of 22 inch slicks. And it went 13, seven at a hundred or 99 or something like that on the motor. So it's pretty fast too, but this will be something that we could drive everywhere. It's going to be ugly. I like the ugly multicolor cars. It's just more fun that way. Uh, we will, of course, do some body work and make it look nice later. Uh, but with the motor that came out of this car, my future plans will probably be to build a B20 VTEC for Ugly Duckling. Because I kind of want to leave that car in A. It's way more fun having an NA, NA VTEC EG uh, to drive around and just have fun with. It's not fast right now with the B16, which is kind of disappointing. Like, I've always... Growing up, looking at like a B16 Type R uh, hatchback, and I was like, "Oh, that'd be a fun car, like 170 horsepower, or whatever." Now that I own one, it's not that fun. It's not that fast, especially when I can just hop in my H Series car that runs mid 13s, full interior in EK, and it's much nicer to drive, and it's much more torquey. Like my H23 probably makes more torque than my B16 makes for power. I can pretty much guarantee that because the H23 dynoed at like 177 foot pounds of torque. I haven't dynoed the B16, uh, but I can tell you it's slow. It maybe on a good day on a tire will probably run like low 15s or high 14s. So this will conclude the video. We got pretty far. I'm also going to do the full suspension swap. We're going to have four wheel disc, everything, 40 40 prop valve on the EG. And uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying this build so far. Uh, you see the CSX over there. We still got to work on that. The neons over there. We still got to work on that. But. It's been a while since I made a video, so I decided today if I was going to knock a bunch of work out, we were going to strip Lavaca, we were going to strip the EG, video it for you guys, and uh, let me know down in the comments below what you think. Thank you for tuning in to Ghost Built.